Okay. This one's this one's gonna get super nerdy uh, and real quick. I I apologize already. This is not for the faint of heart. Uh, this one uh, goes into power automation and and Microsoft and Zoom chat, Zoom Teams chat integration. Did you even know you can do this? I didn't really know it about till I, I thought of it uh, at a lunch uh, meeting today. So here it goes. Uh, power Automate. It's uh, it's a tool within um, within Microsoft. And that you can utilize utilize to automate tasks. It's really that simple. Here's my idea. Here's my idea. Zoom Teams chat, Zoom Team Chat and Microsoft Teams <laughs> obviously have a Mio integration from, from a chat perspective. Uh, I want to take it to the next level and integrate it from a file perspective. <clears throat> Here's an idea. How since we can use Zoom Team Chat and integrate it with SharePoint. What if we power automated a way to create that synchronization between Zoom and Teams? Here's my idea. Throw it out there. This is literally, I've never run this by anybody. <laughs> this is being, me being a nerd. I'm going to share, am I sharing my screen right now? Yeah, I'm going to share my screen right now. And we're going to do a couple of things. Uh, we're going to, let's, can we pull this over? Let's pull this over. Um, no, that's not it. Uh, where the hell is that at? Um, bear with me. Bear with me. Hold, please. Hold, please. Uh, boom. There it is. Whew. Man, good Lord. I'm having. I'm so excited about it. I just forgot where it's at. Here's what's happening. Inside of SharePoint, let's take a step back. You know that you can integrate Zoom team chat with SharePoint. I've told you this a bazillion times. I'm going to tell you it one more time. Inside of Zoom and, and chat, Zoom and team chat, you can integrate all your channels with, uh, in this instance, SharePoint, you can literally stay on three different clouds. The, the default is a Zoom cloud. You can leave all your files in the Zoom cloud. Works great. You can literally leave it, go uh, to box integration. Haven't talked about it, but you can do that too. I always talk about SharePoint integration. You can now integrate your Zoom channel with SharePoint, meaning every file you push into Zoom team chat is pushed into SharePoint. What it's going to do is every time we create a new channel in Zoom, I would call this one SharePoint integration channel. Good name for a integrated uh, Zoom channel into SharePoint. It's going to create a site, a basically a site inside um, your SharePoint tenant that you're going to have in your, your Microsoft Office 365 SharePoint world. When I created that Zoom channel, it created this site called SharePoint Integration Channel. Make sense so far? Therefore, every time I push a file into Zoom Team Chat, it pushes the file into SharePoint uh, tenant. Here's a more amazing thing, is when I create any SharePoint site, I can now, even if it's not associated with anything, when I created this new Zoom team channel, right? It created this site by the, the APIs that we have in the back end. Basically say, hey, any new site that's created in Zoom, create a new uh, SharePoint site, and then every time you upload a file, it uploads the file into SharePoint and not Zoom. Makes sense, that's pretty simple. So now I've taken another step. <laughs> I've now made this SharePoint site a Teams channel. You can do that too, right? So if you go right to here, you can see in this SharePoint site called SharePoint Integration Channel, I made this a weekly team meeting with Blue Yonder. I honestly don't even know what that means. <laughs> That's probably my tenant. I created this site a general, I created the site let me stop. I'm so excited. I created this SharePoint site into a Teams channel. Do you see what I'm looking at right here? This is a Teams channel called SharePoint Integration Site. By converting this file, this, God bless America, I'm having a hard time. By converting this SharePoint site into a Teams channel, I've now unlocked a whole bunch of different features. I've now, I now have the ability to have a Teams channel named the same thing, look, called my Zoom 
SharePoint integration channel. Do you remember what the, the uh, site, the channel in Zoom was called? You got it. SharePoint integration channel. Here's what's the kicker. Here's what's the kicker. In the SharePoint site, I have a bunch of files. Let's take it even a step backwards. I have a couple of uh, subcategories of folders underneath that SharePoint site. By default, the documents is the first folder. And I have all these files in documents. Makes sense? All these files that I've uploaded into the Zoom SharePoint integration channel were automatically uploaded into the documents folder. You can see that here because if I go to more actions and I go to SharePoint files, look at all, all those uh, files are right here. All those files are right here. Makes sense. They're all right here too. They're in the SharePoint file. Here's what's the cool thing. If you look at Teams, when you create a Teams channel, you actually create a subcategory called General. And what this does in SharePoint, it creates a folder called General. Look at the files right here. There's a couple of different things. All the files under under general let's go look at the sharepoint site let's go look at the general file all the files underneath general are the same as the one that were in teams did you see that just now i'll take you back look at that golf ball power automate power automate three different files let's go back to teams golf ball power automate power automate the same files hold on let's go to zoom Let's go to the general channel. Would you look at that? Power Automate, Power Automate, Golf Ball. All the same files in three different repositories. Not really, because it's really the SharePoint repositories where we're talking about. But how did I be, how am I in Zoom right now looking at a Zoom channel? And now I'm in Teams right now looking at the same information. Look at that, the same information. I'm looking at the same files in all three repositories. How might you ask I did that? It's really not that magic. I use Power Automate. I literally use Power Automate to know that when I am in Zoom and I integrate a Zoom channel with SharePoint, it's moving to the Documents folder. But I don't want it in the Documents folder because that's not where Teams looks. Teams looks in this general folder. So now I need a method. Whenever I create a file in Zoom, team chat, whenever I create a file and push it to that repository, I want it to go to the SharePoint repository like I, put, like I uh, configured and then move that from the document repository file to the general file. And here's how I did it. I used Power Automate. Let's look at here. Uh, Manager flows and Power Automate. So here's what I did. Inside of my tenant, I created a new Power Automate flow. And what this does is every time it literally says, every time it moves files basically from one SharePoint folder to another, that's really all it is. I am not a Power Automate expert by any means. All I'm doing is creating the ability when uh, Power Automate sees a new file created in the SharePoint documents folder, it actually moves it to the SharePoint general folder and deletes it from the original. Then that allows me to have Zoom chat, team chat and Microsoft Teams have their files synchronized. A little bit of work. I know it's not seamless. I'm just playing around being a nerd. I know this is not out of the box. I know there takes a little horsepower. Don't don't come at me and go, oh my God, there's so many steps. I'm fully agreement. There's a ton of steps. It's just an idea of how I can, we can really automate workflows between Zoom and Microsoft without the user ever knowing. Yes, an admin has to set this up. Yes, an admin has to know SharePoint. Yes, an admin has to know Teams and Zoom and Power Automate. I totally get it. But you're, you're an admin for a reason because you're probably a nerd like me and you want to figure this stuff out to make your users have a more seamless experience. This is literally what I did. I went and did, I set up a, a Power Automate, which actually creates this automation flow between Teams and Zoom that moves files from these two different repositories. Is it rocket science? No, it's not rocket science. 
all I'm doing is moving files from one folder to the other, but it also runs automatically. And you can see this right here. I've literally run uh, all the runs. I literally run this a couple of times and I just got so excited. I just started a video. So look, let's go back to real quick to, um, to my, uh, mm -hmm. geez, my knees. Let's go back real quick and we'll pull this up. So right here, I created a, a couple of different flows, right? So I created this power automate document. I literally created it in zoom. I've shown you how to do this before. I literally just went to file, created a new word document. This word document is literally just a power automate word file. That's all it really is. I'm just testing, running a power automate flow. Once I created that file, it created that file in that SharePoint site in the document folder. Then, as you just saw, it said, hey, move one file from one folder to the next. SharePoint, the Power Automate, saw that the file was in documents, then created a, a flow that moved that file to the general documents, and then deleted the file from the documents uh, uh, folder. What this then created, right, is if we were go to, again, Teams, in the general folder right here, the same files literally are in both folders. Do you see that? Can we get this a little bit low, smaller? Let's go. Look at this. We'll make this smaller and we'll make this smaller. So now we have SharePoint, all the files, golf ball, Power Automate, Power Automate, Word document, PowerPoint document. All the files are in Teams that I literally just created. And you know what I'm going to do next. All the files are in Zoom. Power Automate, Power Automate, Golf Ball. Like, if you're not... <laughs> if you're not a super nerd and think that's exciting, I I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be in the nerd business. <laughs> I love that. Is it usable? I don't know. I'm just throwing out technology. It's Monday at, at 7.30. I just thought it was fun to show you how I did it. <laughs>